Hi guys, my name is Marie and welcome to my Kawaii Book. So in this video, I thought I would talk about our family's mask collection. And a lot of times people will ask me in videos what mask I'm wearing or what my kids are wearing. So I just thought I would make a video and talk about all the different types of masks we've used and what I think of them. So I'm going to start off with the one that I bought when I first moved to Korea and that's the Vogue mask. And we have lots of Vogue masks. We've gone through like quite a few of them just for air pollution alone, but then we really started wearing them a lot um, after the pandemic started. And there are four different sizes. There's X large, large, medium, and small. And I wear the large, my husband wears the X large, and my kids both wear the small size. The X large is only slightly bigger than the large, but the straps are longer. This is my favorite mask, I think. It's really comfortable, the fabric is really soft, and if you wear it for a long time, it doesn't hurt your ears as much as some of the other masks do. I originally got the medium, but it's really significantly smaller than the large, and I feel like it's for an older kid or a teenager. And then if you look at the size difference between the small and the medium, the medium is only slightly larger than the small, but it has longer straps overall size comparison this is the x large and then this is the large which is a little bit smaller than the x large and it has shorter straps and then this is the size medium which is significantly smaller than the large and then this is the size small which is very similar to the medium but it has shorter straps so my husband wears the x large i wear the large and my kids both wear a size small and this is our family's favorite mask because it's the softest and it's the most comfortable. Yes, it does get hot, especially when you wear it during the summertime. And the inside of the mask can get pretty dirty and grungy. But later on in the video, I'll show you how I wash our masks. The Vogue mask has a rating of N99, so that means it can filter up to 99% of the particulate matter in the air. These are quite pricey though. I think they retail for around $30 to $35 each. And they also have some masks that don't have a valve. And they have organic cotton masks, which are more expensive. And I think this is good for about three to six months, depending on how often you use it. And that's for air pollution. But as far as viruses go, it probably can last a lot longer as long as you can keep it clean. Um, they have different designs. The one that I wear is a, the blue jeans version. Kind of looks like jeans. Valentina likes this rainbow one, and then Sienna has the, the plain black one with the V. And these have gotten really kind of gross, so I should probably wash them. So this is a sanitizing spray we use. It's, the, it's a slightly acidic hypochlorous acid solution. And I bought this in Korea. And the, what I do is I just go like this. I just spritz it a little bit on both sides. And then I let it hang up to dry. And this is how we clean our masks whenever we go out. But every once in a while, I'll give them a wash in like dishwashing soap and warm water. And then I'll just run it under the sink and wash out all the soap. And then I'll hang it to dry. But as you wash these, I notice that they tend to like, the straps will tend to stretch out or they will start to degrade a little bit. Also, Valentina will chew on her mask. So on this one, the wire is now exposed. So these are not super durable. These also have a valve on them. So when you breathe out, the valve opens to let out the air, but it doesn't let anything in. There are these other masks that are kind of similar to the Vogue mask that you can get in Korea. And this one is a, it's called a six mask and it looks very similar to the Vogue mask. But the difference is um, it protrudes a little bit more um, from your face. The Vogue mask is a little bit tighter to your face. And this one sticks out a little bit more. And also, it's not as soft and flexible. So this one, when you go like this, it's a little bit crunchy. But the Vogue mask, when you go like this, it's just really, it makes a little bit of sound, but it's, it's a lot softer than the six mask. And this one has some really cute designs. Sienna has this one with the cats on it. And then Valentina has this one. And I have the ones with the swirly designs. And these are supposed to be KF94 masks, which 
is supposed to be like N95 quality. KF94 is the, um, the standard in Korea for masks and N95 is the US standard. So these are supposed to be equivalent to N95 masks. And they also have the valve like the bog mask does. These ones were about $16, $16, so it's about half the price of a bog mask. It's a lot cheaper. Um, but these are a little bit less comfortable than the bog mask. Okay, so my husband decided to try out another mask. This one is the A Puri mask, and this is a KN95 mask. And it looks like this. And this one's a little bit different because it has filters in it. And there's a cutout for the valve, exhalation valve, and you just stick it in. The straps are a little thinner. Both, this mask has a wire on top so that you can mold it to your nose. The Vogue mask also has a wire on top so you can mold it to your nose. But this A Puri mask has this rubber thing inside, so that's supposed to help stick to your face. This mask was a little bit more expensive. I think it was over $30. And my husband says that it was a lot less comfortable because the straps are super thin, so they hurt your ears more than the Vogue mask or the Six mask. Another mask that I have seen is this Goguma mask, and this is a this is also a reusable mask, and it's just a plain black mask. And I haven't used this yet, but it says the fabric is organic. The outer layer is like a soft cotton, and the inner layer has these um, filters. And it feels a little bit crunchy. It has the exhalation valve. This is another option. This one is a little bit cheaper than the six mask. I think it was around 10,000 won or 12,000 won for this. Before the pandemic started, we got these masks on Amazon and these are kids masks. They have really cute prints and there there's a filter that you can put inside of here and this is supposed to help with particulate matter 2.5 to help filter that out. But the only thing is the filters only cover like the of a square like a rectangular spot in front of the mask it covers the majority of the mask but then the sides don't have the filter in them so i don't know how effective this is also i find that the filters will sort of get crumpled up inside and i don't really know if they're covering the full area so i'm not really sure how effective these are but this is just something that i use before covid i kind of question whether or not this is really an n95 mask but that's all i have for the reusable n95 masks another mask that i've been waiting for i purchased a mask on a kickstarter campaign for this company called os air and that was back in maybe february or january and i bought a mask pack for our family they were supposed to ship in July, but I haven't seen anything yet. One of the things that we've been doing with our masks is we have these inserts that you can put inside of your mask. So it, I guess it helps to keep them clean. And if you're wearing makeup, it's less likely to get stained inside of your mask. So I'll just tape this with double-sized sticky tape to the inside of my mask sometimes. It does kind of add another layer, so in the summer, I don't know, maybe this makes your mask a little bit hotter. But if you are wearing makeup and you find that you're staining your masks a lot, then this is something that you can try. So let's talk about the disposable masks. Um, there's so many different types. There's um, this kind, and this looks like a surgical mask. Um, and this one is pretty comfortable. My sister said she really liked this one. But this one is kind of hard to find. And this one is a lot more common in Korea. This is the way it looks like this. And then you could just... This one is um, KF94. Here's how the two different masks compare. And these will go for about 2,000 to 3,000 won. I think the average price is around 2,500 won. And in the beginning of the pandemic, I found these frozen masks for kids. This is also N95 quality and it has like a little on an Elsa print on it, but I haven't been able to find these since. I have, however, seen these kids masks at the convenience store and one is KF94 and the other is KF80. KF80 has a lower level of protection, but I think it's a little bit more breathable. They look just like the adult masks, but they're smaller. 
So that pretty much covers the N95 masks in my collection. And now I'm gonna talk about some of the non-N95 masks that I think are noteworthy. So I got these other masks, they're called Aero Silver masks. And these are, I think these are known as like 3D masks in Korea. But they look like this, and they look really chic when you put them on. They're not N95 masks though. They're just cloth masks, but it says they're made out of a fabric called Aero Silver, which is supposed to have antibacterial properties. But because they're not N95, I probably wouldn't wear this alone. But what I thought is I would get these as a mask cover to wear over my regular mask. So say I'm wearing this Vogue mask then, and I want to match my mask to my outfit, I can just put on one of my Aero Silver masks and like it'll, it'll cover up the mask. But it'll add a nice pop of color to my outfit and then I could match my mask to my outfit and you could probably use the fabric mask in a similar way so that's the Aero Silver mask I also got this mask from Artbox which I really like and this one is a little bit smaller than Aero Silver it's a size medium and I feel like it fits my face better I feel like the large Aero Silver masks are kind of big Looks like this and yeah I think this is really nice I would also use this one as a mask cover and you can wear it over like the reusable N95 mask or um, the disposable one so we went on a Korean road trip and then we stopped at a rest stop and in one of the stops they had these gorgeous Korean masks that were sort of made out of a traditional looking fabric and they had this embroidery on them this was about 10,000 won and I just thought it was so pretty. This is obviously not N95, but you can use this as a mask cover. And then Valentina got some really cute masks from her school. Like they sent her this little bear, which was super adorable. So even before the pandemic, in Asia, masks are pretty commonplace. Uh, when you're sick, you just wear them to prevent your germs from spreading everywhere whenever you cough or sneeze. So I made some of these for my kids. Even kids in preschool will wear masks and they have some really nice fabric. It's called triple gauze fabric. I don't know how protective it is, but it's really lightweight and breathable. And if you go to the fabric store, they have a really nice selection of mask making materials. And in Korea, they also make these kids surgical masks. So this one is actually for babies. It's super small. And I just have like a couple of them left over from when Valentina was younger. And then this is another disposable kids mask. It's not N95, it's just a surgical mask. But you can buy this at the Korean drugstore. And these are really cute. It's about two thirds of the size of an adult surgical mask. And here's some footage from Daiso Japan. What I would do to be able to go back in time and stock up on these adorable Sanrio masks. So I really like the mask culture in Asia. I think that when we get sick, sometimes we forget to cover our mouths when we're sneezing or coughing. It catches us by surprise. So I think this is really great to help prevent people from spraying their germs everywhere. Out of all these masks, my favorite one is the Vogue mask because I think it's the most comfortable. But as a close second, I also like the Six mask. Currently, I don't believe that you are allowed to ship any masks outside of South Korea. However, Vogue mask is an American company and Aus Air is an Australian company. So you may be able to get those masks and I will try to link any products that I can find down in the description box below. As always, I want to say thank you and give a shout out to my Patreons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for your support. I really appreciate it.